Hello folks, my name is Ochiko. We will install SQL Server 2014 Enterprise Edition seamlessly. Wait, do not fret. SQL Server 2012 Express is for individuals who need it for private use. And SQL Server 2014 Enterprise is for those who have companies who have lots of clients machine to connect to a database. But I, as an individual, I have SQL Server 2014 Enterprise. The reason being that my RAM memory is eight gigabytes, and then my hard disk memory is in terabytes. And then my operating system is Windows 8.1. So I know what I'm doing, okay? So I really want to learn the SQL Server um, Enterprise because it's for companies. I really wanted to know the in and out. That's why I decided to install it. But warning though, if you know your, you don't have enough machine space, do not bother to install Enterprise version, except you know what you're doing. Now let's get started. Now, if you want to download SQL Server 2014 Enterprise, you go to msdn.com or whatever you want to download is situated here. So you uh, sign up and then um, sign in, and then you come to this page, then click Downloads. Click on MSDN subscription. And then whatever you need to download will be right here. The product key will be right here. So you'll find after you have bought your subscription. Let's start it. When you buy a subscription and you download whatever you need, um, it sends um, the download to a particular folder you have selected for that. I have mine right here. Double click on that takes you here. Double click on this icon. It takes you here. Double click on setup.execution. It takes you here. You don't necessarily have to do anything here. Some people, um, they go ahead and check their system configuration to see if their system can handle SQL Server 2014 Enterprise. You don't necessarily have to do that. So select installation. And then it takes you to this page. For those who have never at any point in time install, install SQL Server version on their machine, they have to select new SQL Server standalone installation. But if you know you have at some point installed SQL Server version 2008, 2005, please click on upgrade. So for those who have not installed, please click on new SQL Server and then you see this box right here? wait patiently for it then it takes you to this page then when you see that everything here is complete all four is complete go ahead and click next and then it takes you to this page now you see the bar is at the end and then it says past six one in one this is the only warning there's no problem with that just click next then it takes you to this page click on perform a new installation for those who have gotten to this page and they're wondering, what am I doing here? And they're supposed to be doing an upgrade. You have a choice, you can go back, you can click here, do your upgrade. Now for these people who are following my steps, you can click here and connect. Now insert your product key you got at the MSDN site and also on your CD, if you have a CD, and then click next. And then accept the terms and condition. And then you can also select but you don't necessarily have to select this. This only sends information to Microsoft on how their product is doing. So go ahead and select this and say next. Then select SQL Server Feature Installation. Click next. Then select the features you want. For me, I selected all because my space, my disk space is huge. My RAM is huge. So I selected all. I don't have any problem. But if you know what you're doing, please select what you want. So of course, you need your database engine and your management tools. Then click Next. Wait for a while. It takes you to this screen. You the name the named instance. Select that. It's supposed to come up automatically. But if it doesn't, type in MSSQL 2014 and then click Next. When you type it here, it comes here automatically. You don't have to do anything. Then click Next. Wait for a while and then it takes you to this page. You don't need to do anything here. Click Next. Then there are two modes of authentication. This is just one option. This is two options. 
So you can select this. It gives you SQL Server authentication and the Windows authentication. So for those individuals, put a simple password you can remember. For enterprise, those who need it for their companies, please put a complicated password so people can crack into your database. And then click Add. When you click on Add, you can see what it says. SQL Server administrators have unrestricted access to the database engine. So click on Add, and then it takes you to this page. Now select who you want to give the administrative rights here. Check the names and say OK. And then it takes you to this page. When you see the name of that person here, you can go ahead and click Next. It takes you to this page. This is the latest uh, mode. This is the previous mode. So you can go ahead and click the server mode you want. Me, I, I selected um, tabular mode. Then you can click on Add and then do repeat the same process. Add the administrator you want to have unrestricted access to this uh, database or server. Then click Add Current User and Next. And then it takes you to this page. You see the name here. Click on Next. Then you... Uh, select install and configure and click next and then repeat the same process click on add and then add the name of the administrator you want to have rights unlimited rights to this server and then click add current user and click next if you don't see your controller name go ahead and repeat the same put the name of the person you you gave administrative rights Put the name of that person here and click next it takes you to this page you see the bar is almost complete tells you your installation is almost complete click next this is a summary of your installation now if you see this don't do anything just click next and then now your installation begins and completes that means you are at the end now it tells you your installation succeeded congratulations you've just installed your sql server 2014 enterprise version Enjoy. Bye-bye.